Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 36. And you can see that, well, actually, you can't see anything. I mean, you, you can see that I progressed, but that's not the thing. I actually lost my save. I needed to use the save bank to get back to where I was. That was kind of annoying, but it's okay. I can gain 69 nice multiversal energy. Else, the save that I got does does include these two achievements, but I think everything else I already had, so yeah, that's kind of annoying, but anyway, we can gain more multiversal energy. I think this is just enough to get the next um, milestone, which is the foam effect exponents are increased by 0 0.05, so let's see how powerful this is. It seems like a pretty slight boost, but it's probably doing something, so I mean, the thing is that Progression is really only measured in multiversal energy, and it probably has a pretty tough formula. It's, there's so many soft caps in this game that it's it takes a lot to actually get decent progression. I mean, it's still definitely decent progression. I'm not saying that, but it's just saying like that it's actually really powerful, but because of all the soft caps and all the other stuff, there's it just it makes it less powerful in terms of multiversal energy. So, let's see, I think I just want to start Multiverse 3, because it's only 100 Multiversal Energy, and I can unlock it, and the effect is you can only unlock one of the following. Ascension, Stadium, Pantheon, and Derivatives. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. Quark and Lepton exponents are to zero, and Entropy is disabled. So, let's see, which one do I want to pick? This is all the Infinity stuff. I'm going to start with derivatives, because I know derivatives is a pretty good boost. But even with derivatives, it's not quite enough to get me anywhere. Also, the Hadronic Challenge score is better than I had before. So, yeah, um, I can't really get any Entropy. And I can get Quantum Foam a lot of it, but it's not enough to really get anywhere. So, okay, this is not the strategy to go. I should probably instead... Instead, I'm going to um, go back to Multiverse Prime and then try something else. Maybe Stadium, because I know Stadium has some really good rewards. So, let's see here. Let's, let's see. I somehow have all these completed, which might be an update, maybe something different. But no, even with Stadium, I'm not able to get anywhere. So, let's see. Go back to Multiverse Prime. I mean, there's only so many things I can pick here. So... What else? There's the Pantheon, which I don't think is very powerful. I'm going to do Ascension. And, no, actually, no, Ascension is more powerful than I thought it was. It's enough to get me all the way up to 85%, which should mean that if I just wait long enough, I'll get all the way to 100%. Man, it's been so long since I've done these. It's just Dark Flow is 120, E128 times as fast, 128 more pathogen upgrades, E1280, Cadaver, yes, it's Cadaver, not Cadaver. Um, gain soft caps, and then the Cadaver affects soft caps later, and then also some other enlightenments. This is still not quite enough to get me all the way. Maybe I can do a quilt, and that'll get me somewhere. I'm not really sure what the best one is. I don't think I want the last one because the Quark and Lepton affect exponents are zero, so. Let's do something like, let's do something like the second one. Maybe that's enough. That gets me up to 92%. I'm so close. But, I mean, I mean, it's increasing. It's like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere, but I don't, I don't think that it's quite enough at this point. So, it's, it's really okay. I can, I can just enter Multiverse Prime, get a few more quilts. And it's gonna it's gonna be easy because yeah I can gain like sixty multiversal energy quickly. Let's do that. I think that's enough for another for another quilt here. Uh, but I'll get the first quilt because that's I think the best in the challenge. I'm probably gonna want to get a little bit more. Maybe I'll get the the first string effects also multiplies acceleron gain. So yeah, let's just keep doing that. Sixty three multiversal energy. Probably just a few more resets needed. I'm at 1,500. I need to get to 1,750. So it's probably like five-ish resets left. And then I will go back into the challenge. 
I'm still gonna get this last quilt because this does have an does some of some other effect that is also good, even in the challenge or multiverse three. So also multiplies gauge speed, Higgs boson gain, and Hadrian gain by a good amount. So there we go. Now I can get 80 multiversal energy. It's actually more powerful than I thought. And the first string's effect also multiplies acceleron gain. So now let's enter multiverse 3, and hopefully I can do it this time. So ascension is the best mechanic here. Am I not in multiverse 3? I don't know why I see all the others. Did I pick something else? No, it's just button. That's why. Um, that's annoying. Let's just let's just try again because that was that was not my fault. That was the game's fault. Okay, there we go. Unlocked ascension, and now I I wait. I was just looking at stuff I could do to maybe boost my progression, and I found this. Unlock new theory tree upgrades, even more theory tree upgrades. Okay, and the graviton boost. Requirement increases half as fast when below 60. So now I have six Dark Expanders, and yeah, that's all I needed. This challenge really was not hard, because... Yeah, I don't even know what I have now, but... I think there's like a couple more... I feel like there wasn't three here, there's only two. And there's also this Prion upgrade, so... Yeah, that was enough to easily complete the challenge, and the reward is that there are now five new Dark Expanders, so... Maybe somehow... Wasn't I don't think I had a six dark expander. I don't even know what's going on, but maybe maybe I somehow beat the challenge. I, I don't even know. But anyway, I I will look for more dark expanders here. I can get the seventh one, which is accelerons now reduce the hadron effect interval. And I can get out now get 160 multiversal energy. So yeah, things are getting even crazier. And the next, oh, I'm very close to the next Dark Expander. I need E46,500. I'm at E46,200. So if I just wait, like, I don't even know, 20 seconds, I'll get there. Well, maybe more than 20 seconds, actually. It's slowing down a, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. But yeah, E12 Skymarion's, yes, I'm using different notation now because it's, that was the notation used in this save versus the other save, and here we go. The primary string effect is squared, and of course, since it's distance incremental, it is going to be OP, and suddenly I can get 290 uh, multiversal energy. I also made it all the way to 68 almost nice multiverses. Nope, actually 69 multiverses, so nice. So, let's see what the next one is. Multiverse 4. You're always trapped in Theoryverse at depth four and a half, unaffected by depth reduction, which also affects Pion and Spine Organ. So let's see how easy this is. So I need to redo the stadium challenges. I don't. And yeah, this looks easy. Boom. 16 multiversal energy wasn't even wasn't hard in the slightest. And this means I unlocked three new strings, which I mean it's been so it's just, I think the strings just produce each other, basically. Or they just give a multiplier to the other. So that means I'm going to be getting a lot more supersymmetric particles, which gives me more quark gain, lepton gain, graviton gain, photon gain, and multiplier to pre elementary resources. So that's all pretty nice. I'm still not quite to the next um, acceleron upgrade, but. That's okay. I also noticed when I was at derivatives, yes, there's a ninth derivative, which means, yeah, ninth dimension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninth dimensions in distance incremental. The last multiverse, though, is 2,000 multiversal energy, so that's quite a lot. And even the next milestone is a bit away. It's 5,000 total multiversal energy, which is entangled strings and quantum foam boosts pi and spine or gain, respectively. It's like another Zeta upgrade, basically. That's what I. That's what it seems like. So let's go back here. I can gain 280 multiverses or multiversal energy pretty quickly. And yeah, I can just see. Well, at least it gets to like 200 quickly, and then it starts slowing down once I get into the mid 200s. But that's okay. I just. I guess I just grind this for a little bit off camera, and 
then maybe I can get another Acceleron or something. Because it's I need to get E80,000 or 81,725 Accelerons, which I'm just not quite to yet. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back just a few minutes later, and I just got this milestone, so let's see how much more I can get. I can get 426 Multiversal Energy, and maybe I'm now ready to do Multiverse 5, which seems like the final multiverse. So this is, time speed is brought to the 3.6th root, and the reward is that the purge power effect goes below zero and unlock Phantoms, a new Pantheon section. Heavenly Chip and Demonic Soul effects are much stronger. So, let's see, let's see if I can do this. Um, am I... 50? 90%? Okay, yeah. Super easy. And I just got an achievement conquering the Metaverse. Or Megaverse. Not Metaverse. Um, Multiverse 5. And, th yeah, this is the last one. I don't even know if there's any mechanics beyond this point. But, I'm gonna go back into Multiverse Prime. And... Let's see, let's, let's check out the new Pantheon mechanic. So this is Phantoms, which is one every three Spectral Gems, which I don't even know what Spectral Gems really are anymore. And I get Haunting Energy, which translates to a more Spectral Gems and a multiplier to Heavenly Chip, Demonic Soul, and Haunting Energy gain bases. So basically all this does is just boost the rest of the Pantheon mechanic. And, yeah, this was powerful. This got me 1378 multiversal energy. And this achievement. 100 multiverses. So, yeah, it's quite a lot. I can probably get some more quilts at this point. I'll, I'll get one more of each of the quilts. And this will make it even faster. And I'm not even sure what, what there is left. I mean, there's... Okay, there's milestones, like... There's the 10,000 milestone, which is auto foam unlocks occur every tick instead of every second, and refo reforming portaversial foam cost scaling is 20% weaker. So I'm pretty sure this is mostly just going to make it faster. So now, yeah, it's a lot easier to just get the one multiversal energy, and it increases a lot more smoothly. And I think I think optimal. Is actually not quite at a thousand. It's probably at somewhere in the eight hundreds. Not because because they're a lot. They're, it's a lot quicker now. So that's that's what I'm gonna do. The next. I don't know when the next milestone is. Actually, let's let's see when the next milestone is. It's it's at two hundred thousand. This is foam size upgrades cost less. Based on your total foam size upgrades bar. So yeah, it's gonna take a while to get to two hundred thousand. I'm up to. I'm up to 10,000, which means I can actually get two more of every quilt. Even that is not gonna, like, do everything. Like, yes, I can now reach a 1,000 easily. I can probably, if I wait just a little bit, I can probably get, maybe I can get another Acceleron, actually. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. Acceleron. Yep, there's the 8th Acceleron, or the ninth Acceleron, which is Purge Power effects is divided by 1.01 for every theoretical booster, and the um, octonary, nonary, and decanary string effects are squared. So this means I can gain almost 4,000 multiversal energy. And I'm pretty close to the next Acceleron as well, but I'm just not quite there yet. So, yeah, actually somehow it went from 4,000 to 17,000. I don't know how it did that. It, I think it's because of how the multiversal energy is scaled, where now I'm getting more multiversal energy than I am traveling multiverses. And even, like, a few multiverses gives a pretty big effect to everything. So, let's see. I'm going to wait for 17,000 again. I'm not really sure what's happening. But somehow there's, like, a huge push that gets me from, like, 140 multiverses to 200 multiverses. I'm not really even sure what this is. And it's still not enough to unlock the last Acceleron, which is unlock two rows of entropy upgrades. I'm going to get... Three more. I'm, I'm gonna get some more quilts here, and then I'm gonna go back into the multiverse. Oops, not multiverse five. I that wasted my entire run of like twenty thousand plus multiversal energy, which is annoying. I, I want to see where this is coming from. Maybe it's a Zeta upgrade. Um, what's when's the next Zeta upgrade? It's E one hundred six. So I don't think it's a Zeta upgrade. I I'm actually really curious about this. 
maybe I don't maybe, maybe it's something to do with like a derivative shift um because the next one is that um e9 no it's not I'm not even getting a derivative shift I don't know where it's coming from but whatever it's I'll I'll, t I'll take any boost I can get so I'm gonna get twenty thousand more multiversal energy maybe I want to go for the next milestone which is two hundred thousand which isn't as crazy as it once was. I'm also going to get three more quilts, but the quilts don't seem to actually be all that powerful anymore, at least compared to some of the other mysterious effects. So I'm going to again do another little off-camera session and see if there's any if there's any interesting thing. I will actually do a next episode because, yeah, it's, it, I've, <laughs> I'm going to a normal episode length. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.